Do you have a Canon EOS Rebel T5 DSLR camera? Are you looking to take your photography or filmmaking to the next level? I've compiled a list of my top three Canon DSLR camera lenses for the Rebel T5. Number one, the Canon 50mm STM lens. It's a fixed 50mm focal length lens with a fast 1.8 aperture, making it a great option for both stills and video. This Canon 50mm STM 1.8 lens is a newer one to line up compared to the several older versions of the Nifty 50 50mm that Canon made. It's smoother and much quicker than previous versions and has less noise while focusing. Another important factor is of course price. The 50mm STM lens is $149 new and around $100 in good condition on the used market in the United States. I'll have a link down below in the video details for the best price that I've found for this lens. This lens is well built and features a metal aluminum mount instead of plastic the Canon used to use. I've utilized the Canon 50mm STM lens quite a bit since it was originally released, and as you can see from these pictures shot with the T5 and 50mm, it's done a fantastic job. I particularly like the slightly out of focus background on this picture. You can get a full head and shoulders frame for portrait at a distance of about 5 or 6 feet. This is an excellent walk around lens that can be utilized in a variety of ways. Its equivalent focal length is about 80 millimeters on this APS-C T5 sensor. I shot this video with the 50 millimeter lens, quite happy with the results. The f1.8 aperture is pretty fast for a lens, offering not only a significant increase in light throughput, but will also create the coveted bokeh effect. And that's partially because it's got a seven blade setup that helps create the out of focus, shallow depth of field that this lens is known for. This 50 millimeter lens also has Canon's super spectra coating, which eliminates ghosting and flare caused by lens surface reflections. Lastly, if you've only shot or primarily shoot with the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens, I wanted to show you a couple pictures taken from the exact same spot with an 18 to 55 and this 50 millimeter lens, both at the 50 millimeter focal length, so you can see the difference in picture quality. Number two, the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter STM wide angle lens. It's one of my favorite Canon APS-C lenses to shoot with in 2024. It's a little more spendy, it's currently at a $299 new price, but it can be found used and refurbished in the $150 to $200 range if you want to save a few bucks. The Canon 10 to 18 mm wide angle lens showcases an exceptionally quick focusing capability. This lens is also image stabilized, which the T5 body is not, so if there's a bit of shaker movement, it does a good job to minimize the effect of it. There's a toggle on the side of the lens to turn image stabilization on and off, as well as a toggle for manual and autofocus mode, should you wish to utilize manual mode. And that's fun to move things in and out of focus for video, or if you're serious about photography and you wanted to do some manual shooting, uh, that's a great option. Check out some of the pictures I've taken with this lens in the Rebel T5. It's got a super compact form factor, and it's easy to get into tight shooting situations and still get a wide angle of view. The 10 to 18 millimeter is able to focus as close as around eight inches, meaning that you're able to get some really nifty shots with this lens at close to macro range. It's also a great indoor shooting lens, giving lots of dimensional space to your shots that really open up tight areas. Hence, it's an ideal lens for vlogging, filmmaking because of this. You can just flip the camera around and have a wide angle portrait view that's great for YouTube and filming videos. I've taken thousands of photos with this lens and love it every time I shoot with it. Another application this lens does great in is landscape photography. If you're trying to showcase vastness or get an entire building in a shot, this could be a good option that doesn't break the bank. One thing to note, the STM functionality, which stands for step through motor, which equates to silent film operation, works in T5i and newer bodies only. Which, honestly, I don't even mind, as the lens is quite quiet to begin with. But with a newer body, if you upgrade down the road, it'll be even quieter. Number three. The Canon 55 to 250 mm IS-STM telephoto lens. This is an image stabilized lens that's great to pair with the T5. It also has some light telephoto range, and its speed is a big plus compared to the Canon 75 to 300 mm, which is slower to focus. This is available new for $299 and used in the $150 range. There's a link for the best deal I could find in the video details below. Here I have the subject at the 55 mm focal range, and here we have the subject at 250 mm. So if you're shooting this from 8 to 25 feet away regularly, or if you're looking for a good zoom lens for outdoor use, this could be a great option for you. There's quite a bit of focal range capability in this lens. It also has the seven blade circular aperture, just like the 50 mm STM lens, to create some dreamy soft backgrounds. And it has one UD lens element, which reduces aberrations throughout its range. 
and that makes it a very pleasant lens to use at all focus ranges. With other zoom lenses, I find myself using very select areas of focal range, but with the 55 to 250 millimeter, it's crisp throughout the range with good light. I also rather enjoy shooting this lens in manual focus. The manual focus dial is quite large and close to the outside, making it very easy to handle. Even without the STM functionality with the T5, the video capability with the 55 to 250 millimeter is much better than its prior versions, the regular IS and IS2 versions. Of course, there's many other great lens options from Canon, and other brands too. A lens is just a tool in your toolbox, and your toolbox may require something a little different, like a 35 millimeter or 85 millimeter, or a walk around 18 to 135 millimeter. I chose these three lenses as the most practical for everyday shooters. I hope this video was helpful, and if you're interested in a little more content about the 10 to 18 millimeter lens, that wide angle masterpiece, check this video right here.